Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard from God is tear it up. The scripture comes from Proverbs 28, 1 through 8. The wicked flee, though no one pursues, but the righteous are, bold, are as bold as a lion. When a country is rebellious, it has many rulers, but a ruler with discernment and knowledge maintains order. A ruler who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain that leaves no crops. Those who forsake instruction praise with the wicked. Those who forsake instruction praise the wicked, but those who heed it resist them. Evil doers do not understand what is right, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than the rich whose ways are perverse. A discerning son heeds instruction, but a companion of gluttons disgraces his father. Whoever increases wealth by taking interest or profit from the poor amazes it for another. Who will be kind to the poor? I feel like in this scripture, God is saying that he knows the difference between someone who is wicked and someone who is of God. And he is tearing up these false narratives. Okay, God is saying that he, when someone is rebellious, when a country is rebellious, it has many rulers, but a ruler with discernment and knowledge maintains order. God wants somebody with discernment and knowledge. He doesn't want somebody who is being rebell rebellious. He doesn't want someone who is ignoring the instruction that he gives. He doesn't want someone that wants to see people poor. He doesn't want someone that is uh, literally trying to persecute the poor, who is literally trying to belittle and mistreat people that have done no wrong. God is saying he is going to tear this up. He is going to tear this down. And it could be literally uh, any person of power. It, it, I don't know exactly who it's for. God doesn't give me names. But this is a person of power that has been rebelling against God and God is going to tear this person down because they have been doing wrong in the eyes of God. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.